Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. We have left one part in the groups concept that is nothing but look ahead group. We have already another two, uh, in look ahead groups also we have two types positive look ahead and negative look ahead. First of all, let's try to understand what is a look ahead concept. A look ahead, what I can say is so I can say the look ahead means in such a way that we have already seen that groups are something like the difference between captured groups and a non-captured groups. So we, ha we have seen the two things that is nothing but in the groups captured groups and non-captured groups. So captured groups means which is nothing but index will be created for this one so that we can use this index. And also for non-captured things, no index will be created for this one. But still it will be a part of the result. So, but still it will be a part of the result. So, this index group also will be created and it will be a part of the result. But still, but now look ahead group means, what I can say is it allows us to use a particular pattern to determine a match. So, that means the captured groups and non-captured groups also will have a particular pattern. Okay. So now if you're for a non-capture, so we will be using something like this. So you will be having some, this is a non-capture group. So this one will able to use a, so this group is using us to, uh, so is making us to use a particular pattern. Okay. So in the same scenario, the look ahead group is indicated using something like question mark is equal to. And here, let's say that we are using like this means. So this look ahead group also will make us use a particular pattern okay in the same scenario but everything used in that group so this group whatever the thing we are trying to use so whatever the pattern that is matching in this group will not be a part of the result whereas here it will be a part of the result but whereas this one will not be a part of the result so that is the main that is the main thing what i want to tell you in a look ahead group so that means in an then you can understand that so okay fine this will be a not part of the result so then what is the difference between this non captured group and this one why because in javascript in java in javascript okay in java in javascript if you try to see that when we are using colon this one means so in our exec method okay so this one this one is not capturing this group so is not capturing that one in an array so if you try to see that one the example what we have did it earlier the date format when we are trying to see it so that group in that group so we are not able to capture it when you are trying to use this non capturing group so then here this one also we are saying that it will not be a part of the result so if you use the look at group means then what is the difference between this non captured group and this one non captured group means so what i can say is the difference is the no index will be created for that and it is not included in the javascript but it is however it is a part of the match so part of the map pattern so it will be a still it will be a part of the result whereas this look ahead group so it will be a not part of the result so that is the main thing so it will it might be a little bit confusion for you so if you try to do a little bit of uh, what i can say is the scenarios examples then you will try to understand it for example let's say that i am coming here Let's say that we are having a google.com and a facebook.com. Okay. So these are the two URLs that we are having. Now what we want to do is here. Let's try to find the match for this one. Okay. Let's try to find the match for this one. So what I can do here. The first one is it will start with any word one or more. Okay. So everything is matching. Now what I want to do is so I want to extract that name here so not with dot com I want to extract the name here but that dot com should not be a part of the result so what I can do is here so it should start with something like so I, I am grouping here it should start with dot com okay now if you try to use this escape thing so now we are able to match this google.com and facebook.com but I don't want this dot com so here this one is one group right so if you want to mention something like colon so this is a so then also you'll be able to add but this is an uncaptured group no index will be created now when you try to use the same thing look ahead so now you'll be able to understand that this is trying to match google.com but this dot com so whichever you have kept it in the group is not a part of the result so that is the thing i want to explain you by seeing the example you may be clearly understanding 
so whatever the thing we are trying to use it here this is not a part of the result for example if you try to see if i try to use any com like this okay so what is the thing so i want to use something like if i try to use so anything something like this now this one is not matching see okay so this one is not matching and if i try to use anything something like so anything so if i try to remove the dot it is not matching and if i try to use anything so in between this one so it is not match okay so here it will match it why because so we are checking like this so ending thing if i try to use it then it will have so but if you are trying to use anything so it is not matching and here if i try to match anything so it is not matching so this is how so we can so now we can get a part of the result look ahead group what it will try to is it will try to match the pattern but the group which you are trying to make it as look ahead will not be a part of the result so what i will try to do is i will try to show you the real time scenario then you will try to understand it for example let's say that in the regular expression only okay now here i will try to write the scenario in a such a way that i am taking the regular expression okay here i will be having the same thing so it should have w plus it should be one or more and i need to have a look ahead group something like this and it should be slash dot com so as this one is a wildcard meta character so i am escaping that one so this is one i am adding a global fax global flag. so here i am taking the regular expression let's take the data so data is nothing but google.com okay facebook.com like this let's try to take two things now if i try to use data dot match of regular expression if i try to match it if i try to send it now you will be able to get only google and facebook so that means we whatever the thing it is present in the as a look ahead group so this is not a part of the match but it will check for the match but it is not a part of the result for example let's say that you are having the same regular expression so i am keeping this dot com like this now let's try to write this one same thing now here see you will be able to see that dot com is a part of the result whereas if i try to change this one if i try to change this one as a, so when you when you use this non captured group also then also it will be a part of the result okay when you try to use this one question mark is equal to whenever you try to use this question mark is equal to immediately what it will try to do is whatever the things you are trying to match uh, trying to uh, trying to add it in the look ahead group so then that look ahead group will not be a part of the result so this is the thing i want to explain you so this is all about the look ahead group so now you can ask me that where this look ahead group will be actually will be useful is so we can use for password strength like this so which you don't want this uh, and if you want don't want this as a part of the result like this so we'll be using that one so this is a little bit more complex but you need to understand it so hope you understood about this one so in the next video we'll try to see the password string how this look ahead group will try to uh, help us so let's try to see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you